Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mark Villarreal here with Los Canaleros del 956. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. This morning I took out a client of mine and he landed this prehistoric beast. Beautiful, beautiful alligator gar. This is the alligator gar fish. So it measured at six foot seven. And we're gonna go ahead and clean it for him because he's gonna eat this, he's gonna harvest it, he's gonna eat it, he's gonna enjoy it, he's gonna cook it, fry it up, and they're going to enjoy this awesome fish. Before I get started, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, everybody. Do not forget to hit the little bell on the bottom so you can stay up to date to all of our upcoming videos and you can be the first to watch, all right? So join me on cleaning this fish. I am not a professional. I do not claim to be a professional. I just know a thing or two. So um, save those comments for you all that want to say, do it like this, do it like that. That's not the way you do it. Well, there's, ver there's various ways to do it. Um, this what I'm about to do there's a lot of ways to, to clean an alligator gar but this is my way this is how I enjoy cleaning the alligator gar and this is how I want to show you all as you see my prior videos if you haven't go into my channel and see my other videos I got a lot more videos on cleaning alligator gar but I'm going to be doing this video um, using some tools some tools that's gonna work real good to help you one of the tools is going to be these pliers right here these pliers are gonna be utilized to grab the tail so we can start our our um, opening of the alligator gar. And then we're gonna use this LCD 956 cleaver. It is a little rusty, but it's gonna do the job. You need a knife sharpener because you wanna make sure you keep your knives nice and sharp because that's what's gonna matter and that's what's gonna help you do this awesome cleaning. And we're gonna use this five inch dankle sharp knife because this is gonna help us get into those small angles and uh, D shell this gar i call it d shell but you can call it whatever you want and then at the end we're going to use this to clean up the belly meat we're going to take off that silver skin lining whatever you want to call it right so let's go ahead and get started let's do it everybody let's do it all right so you want to start by pinching the tail over here you're going to pinch the tail you're going to grab it real good with your hand with your left hand whatever hand works best for you and you're gonna start, you're gonna start chopping away. You're gonna chop away, you're gonna chop, 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 all the way to the head, all right? So hopefully I don't get, this doesn't get in the way of me, but let's start this. As you can see, I put a towel down here because in one of my prior videos, you see that the alligator gar is slipping and I had some nice suggestions that, you know, they were telling me on the comments to put a nice towel under the alligator gar. So that's what we're doing. And I want to thank you all for that suggestion. So do not forget to give your suggestions as long as you keep it positive, right? Any feedback helps us for our future videos. And so y'all can learn better stuff and everyone else can as well. So let's go ahead and chop away. So we got this top layer. This is how you're gonna start cleaning your alligator gar. You're gonna take off this top layer of skin because this is some hard shell. It's hard to cut through this. So you gotta chop away. Let me get my breath real quick, everybody. Woo. All right. As you can see, the meat is nice and white. If you wanna know how to keep your meat nice and white before you start cleaning it, you can, um, bleed them out in the water. You cut the throat a little bit and you bleed them out. Woo! All right. And yes, this alligator gar is dead. He is dead, so we're not skinning him alive like one of my old other videos um, that he was still kind of alive, right? So you wanna always keep your hands nice and clean and make sure they're not slimy because if it's slimy, you're not gonna be able to clean this alligator gar 
that well. So we're gonna come with our little knife. The reason why I like using my little knife is because it's gonna help me access these areas. Rather than having something big and coming from over here with a long knife, so I like to go short and get into those angles that needs to be get to. So we're gonna start from here and we're gonna start taking the shell apart. You wanna to scrape towards the shell and not towards the meat so you can preserve as much meat as you can. So let's go ahead and do it. Remember everybody, practice makes perfect, but that's why we do these videos so you can um, learn something and you can go and do it yourselves, right? Always be careful everybody, be careful the way you're cutting, remember. Practice makes perfect. You can easily cut yourself with this uh, skin of the gar or with a knife that you're using. So be very careful. So we're gonna start at the top just to get our starting point at the top and then we're gonna work our way down. to maybe come on this side or something or show them what's going on here how far we got all right you see this is how far we've gotten so far what you do to one side you do to the other you know how much I love to say that you want to go all the way down all the way down so we're almost complete on this side at least so what you do to one side, you do to the other. So you're gonna come back to this side. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do the same thing. <clears throat> All right. All right, everybody, all right. So once you get to here, you're gonna have a soft spot here. That soft spot is gonna allow you to, you know, um, split it open, kind of butterfly it, right? See, you come over here, you have a soft spot. This is the only soft spot you have that you can actually cut with your fillet knife because everywhere else it's too hard. These scales are very, very tough. So, you're gonna come back to this side and we're gonna finish it up. So what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like from this angle. There you go. So we um, got both sides open. When you get to the top area over here by the skull, you're gonna get your cleaver and you're gonna butterfly it. You're gonna butterfly the flaps like you butterfly it over here, but you're not gonna butterfly them with your fillet knife. You're gonna butterfly them with your chopper, your cleaver. You're gonna go here and you're gonna go down at an angle, straight down. What you do to one side, you do to the other, and there you go. You officially butterfly. Now we gotta do the bottom part. You have, a, you have some hard fin bones over here that you have to get through in order to get to the top. So, we're gonna go ahead and chop down. Once you chop down, you're gonna go ahead and right here in the bottom, you're gonna chop upward. You see, you got a hard bone right here. This is what you have to chop through. And then you're gonna come to another hard bone that you have to chop through right here. All 
All right. So, we got that part. So now you, you clear it and uh, you're gonna, you can do this with your fillet knife or any knife or any sharp knife. You're gonna continue on from the bottom all the way to the top. So you gotta pass these two fin bones and then you wanna go to the top. You're gonna have some more fin bones over here, but that's what you're gonna use your fillet knife. I'll show y'all right now. All right, so you're gonna have some hard, some more hard fin bones here. With your fillet knife, you wanna kind of cut on top of it and around. Right here, this is a hard fin bone right here. Around this area, you're gonna feel it because it's gonna be harder to get to or get around. So you kind of just gotta work around it. Same thing over here. You wanna work around it. And this is where it's at. Look, check it out. That's that hard fin bone. I call it a hard fin bone because I think it's it's the bone from the fin, right? But you'll, you'll, you'll understand when you get to it. So let's go ahead and peel this back a little. See if I can come over here and clear it over here. Pick up this car. That's the slipping part. Put this dirty towel over here for now. Clean my hands real quick. Remember, you wanna clean the slime off. You wanna clean the slime off of your hands. The more you can, the more you can because you don't want that slime, it's gonna be a lot harder. We're gonna let it fall for a little while so you can finish it. So you wanna come all the way, after you get to these hard fin bones, you have one, two, and they have a pair right here, which is two. You gotta cut up and around. You're gonna come to this area to the neck area and once you get to this area you just want to cut all the way through so you can finally pull this shell apart all right once you get to the neck you're going to want to cut you don't want to cut straight down through your meat until you hit the bone see you're going to get a lot of blood right here So you want to cut, what I mean is like, for example, right here, you want to cut straight down until you hit the bone, straight down until you hit the bone from the side, from the top, all around. I'm going to show you why it's important to cut all the way around from the bottom, all the way to the top. So we did the top, we did the sides, you're cutting all the way through, all the way through. We're not done yet because the bottom needs cutting. The bottom needs to be cleared. So let's go ahead and see if we can flip it around for you all and show you the bottom. There we go. It's real important. You gotta cut through that meat so you can snap the neck off, the head. You can snap it off with your hands, but you have to do this in order to do that. So you don't have to chop through the neck bone and you can easily just twist it off. So we got to that. Let me go and pick this up here. Let me pick up my knife. Make sure that it's cut all the way around for what's coming next. All right, there we go. Once you cut all the way around, you get your neck, you snap it, and snap it. And that's what you do, everybody. Check it out. That's what you do. Down the shell, the head, Everything apart. All right, let's clean up a little bit. We're gonna clean up a little bit. We got a lot of blood that you can slip with, so clean it all away. Clean it all off. Clean the table a little bit. Watch all the water, everybody.
right. So we got that done. Now, this is what we caught the gar with. This is what we used. This is the M2A liter. It was deep in his throat, in his throat. This is the M2A liter that we're using. We're using that big chunk of carpet that I'm gonna show right now in the video. You're gonna see, I'm showing the video right now of our setup. And this is what it is. It's an M2A double J hook leader. It's a wire um, nylon coated 250 pound. It's an LCD 956 liter. If you want to get your hands on them, order them at lcd956baitandtackle.com, lcd956baitandtackle.com. So we took the shell off the alligator gar, which is probably the most difficult thing to do, and we did it already. So good job, right? So we're going to go ahead and take off the organs. The organs are under in the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and um, cut it open straight through the middle without poking the organs, right? So you can go from down up and all that good stuff. And then you're gonna go all the way through the center, all the way up, you're gonna butterfly it. You know how much I love saying that word so you can better understand what we're doing. And when you get here, you're gonna start cutting this organ, all this stuff that holds all the organs together. You can just easily pull it. And if you're having trouble, that's what you got your knife for. Bam. There you go. All your organs, your stomach, your whatever the heck, all that junk you don't want. All right, so now we have the alligator gar with just meat and bone, no shell, no shell, no, um, no shell, no organs, nothing. Let's go ahead and give it a little clean up. Watch out with the water, everybody. We're gonna wash our cleaning station. So we can um, have a nice clean setup and we can properly um, finish our job here. All right, just wash my hands. So we're gonna use our little knife, but since we've been using the heck out of it, we're gonna get a little bit of uh, strong printing on it. This is important guys, you need a good sharpener and any fillet knife is gonna work as long as you have it nice and sharp. You need to go buy those big brands and all that stuff so you can show off the fancy knife you have. This is a um, $20 knife, it's a Danko $20 knife and it works wonders. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna take off the bone now. Right here you have the spine. You can see I'm running my fingers through the spine. This is what we're gonna use to guide ourselves from side to side. You're gonna scrape off the meat, guiding yourself with this spine. All the way down. All the way down. You're gonna do your starting point. That's your starting point. Your starting point meaning that this is how you're gonna start uh, the next process, the next step. Remember, watch out with your fingers. You don't want to slice. Like I said, practice makes perfect. Um, I'm not a professional. I've just done this quite a few times. So it's just something that, that, I, that I can do, right? So you're gonna run down all your bone. You're gonna run down your bone and take off your meat, just like that. Same thing, all the way up. So you're gonna start up and you're gonna go down. Let's start over here so, you can, so we can get a fresh start, right? So let's start over here. And you're just gonna scrape towards the spine, towards the middle, towards the bone. You wanna scrape towards the bone, not outside, outward, because you're gonna cut into the meat. And we're trying to get as much meat as possible. Now, you can take your time, you can perfect it, you can get a lot of meat off of it, Right now, we're just trying to not take too long. We're not, we don't want to bore everybody to death. At the same time, we want to teach everybody. And, um, but this can be done with more time and uh, you can perfect it. And you can get a lot more meat off of it. 
So we finished one side. Let me show you what we're left with. This is one side of meat only. This is all boneless meat. I can't even pick it up. This is all boneless meat. There's no bone in here. There's no, there's no bone in here. It's all meat. So what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? Simple algebra. What you do to one side, you do to the other. You're gonna start your starting point. Now if you're gonna, you're, some people are gonna say, hey, your hand's in the way. No, it's not because my hand's on this side of the bone and we're cutting on the other side. So, I hope this is helpful for some of you all and for you professionals. Um, well, what can I say, right? So, I love doing this, everybody. This is my passion. I love fishing for alligator gar. I love studying the alligator gar. I love cleaning and cooking the alligator gar. So, check us out on our social media pages on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, at Los Canaleros del 956, Los Canaleros del 956, as you see on the bottom, or as you see on the bottom. All right. We're almost done here, everybody. We're almost done. We're almost done. Just scraping, we're just scraping along the bone. Scraping along the bone. The bone's gonna guide you to where you need to go. So many people have learned this. Um, and it's an easy, good way to do it. Cut it right here. It's all boneless. Right now we're gonna trim it up, we're gonna rinse it, we're gonna make it look nice and pretty, whiter than it already is, and we're gonna bag it up, process it, and my, um, my customer can enjoy. With his family, friends, they're gonna go home and make some chicharrones. For those of you that don't know what chicharrones is, it's fried fish, but it's what we call it in Spanish, chicharrones. Chicharrones. So this is considered the belly meat. We're gonna rinse off all of this stuff that we don't need, and I'm gonna explain to you all what you can do with what we have cut. Watch out with the water, guys. Rinse it just a little bit. You rinse it off just a little bit, guys. Remember, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow us on all of our social media pages. On Facebook, you can share all your catches, um, all your beautiful fishing moments. If you want any tips, any questions, you want to know anything about gar fishing or any saltwater fishing, go ahead and post on our Facebook page. All right, so this is our bone, our spine. All this meat, there's a lot of meat on this. A lot of people throw it away. A lot of people throw it away. But you don't have to throw it away because there's so much meat. You just cut it in steaks. You cut it in steaks all the way through and you fry it like that and you're gonna eat the bone as if it was baby back ribs. That's what I call it, right? Because you're just eating off the bone, all that tender, flavorful, um, crunchy, delicious meat that the alligator gar has. It's all right here, where a lot of people put to waste. All right, so now, we are gonna process the filet. We're gonna process, we're gonna rinse, and all that stuff. So this is your belly meat. This is your belly meat. This is the bottom of the alligator gar. As you see, it has a silver skin. I learned that from you all, and thanks a lot to all of our YouTube subscribers. Silver skin. Um, we're gonna fillet the silver skin off as if it was fat, and you're cutting it off of a skirt steak or something like that. So basically, you're gonna cut down to the silver skin, and you're gonna cut away, so you don't have to have the silver skin. So you cut down, and then you use this side, to pull up. And you're left with this beautiful meat right here. 
no silver skin. We're gonna rinse it right now and we're going to bag it up. This is one side of silver skin that's left. So what you do to one side, you're gonna do to the next. You can save as much meat as possible. Remember, you take your time, you'll perfect it. Have fun with it, learn, all that good stuff. There it is. Nice white meat. Thank you. So, we're going to do the same thing to the other. I know on one of the slabs, I have some belly meat there. So right now we'll go ahead and fix it. Right now, it might, right now it might look a little messy, but after we're done with it, it's gonna, you're not even gonna know what's coming, right? What it is, but it's gonna be delicious meat. Bam. Throw away your silver skin, throw away all your stuff you don't need. So here comes one slab. You can clean it up if you want. And do whatever you want with it. So this slab is complete. So he, so uh, my customer doesn't have one big slab. We're gonna go ahead and cut it in slices for him. It's one. That's two. So a lot of you are like, how do I cook this fish? Well, I have a video on how to cook it. But once I'm here, I'm gonna show you the cut that you want to do to fry it. So as you see, we cut the slabs in pieces. The 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 perfect cut that you want to fry your fish, your alligator gar. It's gonna be right here, long ways. And you don't want your fish, the secret in delicious fried gar is, you don't wanna cut it too thick because then you're gonna to tend to have something too chewy, something you're not gonna enjoy. Um, don't get me wrong, some people know how to cook it very good, thick or thin, but for the most part, I want you to do this. You wanna cut it thin. You wanna cut it thin. Long and thin, that's how you want to cut it. You don't have to cut it long, but at least that you don't cut it too thin, but don't cut it thick. Just like this, look at that. This right here, what I would do with this, I would bread it with my favorite seafood mix, and I would fry it in the hot oil, and it's good to go. Golden brown, when you want to take it out of the oil, right? So we do have videos. Look through my channel, everybody. You have questions, hey, how do I cook the gar? Um, you want more detailed um, video on how to clean it? I got videos. Just scroll down, scroll down. All right. This is our passion. This is what we love to do, and this is what we're sharing with all of you all. So this slab has some of that belly meat, as you can see right here. We're gonna cut it out. See the silver skin? We're gonna cut that silver skin off. See if I can do it. Okay, we'll start here and we'll go up. There we go. Bam, you see that? No silver skin there. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and uh, try to salvage as much as we can. We're gonna cut this down, 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 throw away that. Some people actually eat the silver skin, but I don't recommend it because it's not gonna have your fish tender. You know, you're gonna have that chewy, skinny, or not skinny, that chewy um, skin part. You're not gonna enjoy that. You don't wanna have trouble? You wanna eat delicious food? Take it off. This is our final slab. This is our final slab. This slab is perfect. Look at that perfect slab. Look at that perfect slab. Look at that. All boneless, no bone. So a common question that I get is, hey, is, uh, is a big gar good to eat? Heck yeah, it's good to eat. Some people will say, no, the bigger the gar, the, the worse it is to eat. Well, I say they don't know how to cook without offending anybody. But that's my opinion. All right, everybody, so we are officially done. We're gonna rinse off the meat. I'm gonna show you all. We're rinsing off the meat, and um, we're gonna show you how clean it is. So let's come over here. Let's start rinsing everything off. So we can rinse off all the, all the meat, all the blood, all the bad stuff. Start rinsing your meat. The more you rinse it, 
you can put it in a five gallon bucket and run the water in the bucket and rinse it and rinse it and rinse it and it's gonna get even better but you don't have to you don't have to go all out on it and, and waste a lot of time on it before you cook it just rinse it again when you're gonna package it right now you're gonna clean it as much as you can right now you're gonna rinse it as much as you can right now but always remember to rinse it before you cook it to get the best quality out of it all right you want to you want to rub your meat <laughs> your alligator guard meat <laughs> you want to you want to rub off all that nasty stuff that might be on it when i say nasty stuff i mean all that extra blood slime whatever just rinse it off you'll be fine all right we still got a lot of meat to rinse just rinse it now we bled out the gar remember we cut the throat while it was on our stringer we put the alligator gar in our strong stringer tied it to the boat we cut the throat and we bled it out we bled it out so you can have white meat like this and you don't have a big messy red meat uh, mess all right so we're almost done everybody we're almost done do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to get your hands on some of our famous leaders to catch gar yourself www.lcd956baitandtackle.com you want to get yourself on some of this awesome merchandise reach out to us lcd956 at gmail.com or no lcd956 bait and tackle at gmail.com we have uh, custom rods we specialize on alligator gar fishing so anything that you need for gar fishing i promise you i got it and if i don't i'll get it for you i made that promise to you all so take on that promise right we're gonna rinse our table off we're gonna finish cleaning everything we're gonna finish cleaning it after this video so and so none of y'all think that we left the mess or nothing you always want to clean your station cleaner than what you found it before right all time no matter what it's gonna take you a long way keep your stuff clean nice and clean we finished everybody I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you the end result of our alligator guard. A big and special shout out to all of our members on YouTube, Los Canaleros del 956. This is why I do it, I do it for you all. Y'all show me so much love, so much support. This is how I can repay you all, by showing you what I know. This is the end result of all the alligator gar. Uh, it was a six foot seven. I don't see nothing wrong with this meat. This is, this is straight delicacy right here. Straight delicacy, it's gonna be the best. Best eating fried fish. I always say alligator gar fried is the best. And it's all boneless. What else do you want? All right, everybody, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I Big shout out to everybody. A big shout out to everybody. Do not forget to uh, visit our social media pages. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's time to clean up, pack up, and go home, everybody.